Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Yes, we're in VTuber mode tonight, but that's okay, I hope. Um, we're going to be playing a new game. We're going to play some Detroit Become Human. I know a few of you are pretty excited about that. Annie, you only like the chorus of that song. Okay, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, this particular song that's playing right now, um, Golden Hour, I like it better without the vocals. And... Yeah, if you did not join us for our last um, planned watch party, we watched Your Name. Um, we actually watched it a couple of times, and it is such an emotional ride, and this is actually from that, but the, emo the instrumental is used for it. Yeah, don't care for the verses, not at all. No, and, and it's really funny because the verses are very much like, the, the whole line's like, we were just two lovers, uh, does not actually fit because in the show, I, 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 without giving away too much, the two people are not lovers. <laughs> not in the way that we think about it. Um, there's definitely love expressed, but it's very, very different. Um, and it's, it's gorgeous. Um, but if you haven't seen your name, uh, definitely, definitely watch it. And if you need to, uh, pop into Discord anytime that you see me online and just be like, hey, do you have, do you have OBS like not being active? Because uh, we, could, we could watch a movie and I will absolutely throw one in there for you. Um, I did the other night. I just started watching some random animes and I just popped into Discord. Like no one else was there. It was just me. It's just I throw it up in there because, you know, I'm there. Um, and he has redeemed a golden movie ticket. Okay. Okay. Let me know if I putting uh, your name back in there or is it something else? Because I will absolutely throw that back into the list. Uh, is there an echo? Is it just me in my head? Let me see. Maybe there's some. In bed bot is is very very ready. <laughs> Let's do it in bed. Um, that has a different meaning. You have two movies now. Yes, you do. Uh, just let me know any time that you can join in, and we'll absolutely. Uh, do that, but let me put this on the list real quick. We'll put your name back on there. Um, do, 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 do. Golden ticket movie watch list. Your name. All right. But yeah, then, um, oh, I'll edit that to put Annie attached to it. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. Yeah, we've got a lot to watch, so um, I'm trying to find times that we can all actually get together. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother in December. Um, it'll just be if you see the green light up on the server, um, I'll just be in there hanging out, um, doing stuff. Of course, anybody, if you ever want to, feel free to pop into the uh, stream for all and and share stuff if you want to. It's That's what it's there for. Um, let's do the uh, the normal starting stuff. Congratulations to Amy on getting first. I saw as soon as I clicked go live, Amy was like on it and snatched it away from Samsara's quick fingers with Samsara Dusty in second. And Lydia Rose, 93, in third, who is currently live, by the way. Uh, she clicked over while in the middle of playing some Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, over on her stream, she's trying it out with a capture card that she had lying around. So, um, yeah, pretty cool to see her playing that. And she's way ahead of where I am. So I was doing a little little look and lurk. Um, mostly she's doing like Korok hunting and stuff. So it wasn't anything too serious. Thank you for the shout out. Much appreciated there. Um, so, yeah, this Ace of Hearts over here. If you see a heart up at the top of the chat, you know what to do. Click it right now and go ahead and click on over and... If you've got the bandwidth and the computing power for an extra tab, go ahead and open that up. Um, also, let's see. We got two painters. Both Amy and Lydia Rose did try to paint the, the roses and succeeded before the queen arrived. Congratulations. Well done. Um, so, yeah. And hi, Samsara. Hello, Lydia Rose. If you're lurking, hello, Annie. Hello, Amy. It's good to see you all. Um, it's great to be back. I was like... I always do a little bit of just practice streaming before I go live. And it's really funny because of some of the things that I do, like I'll be like, ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Um, and then I'll come back over to this one and 
just start to talk and it'll be like, oh my God, I missed you so much. And I'm like, I haven't seen you all in hours. And I was like, wait, no, I actually do miss you guys. Uh, she does have sound on stream. It's very quiet. So you'll have to max out her volume and turn me down and turn your core volume up in order to hear her. Um, getting audio balance and gain and all of that dialed in is a real challenge. And she hasn't been streaming for very long. Um, so she's been working on getting the bandwidth issues sorted, capture cards. This is her first like gaming stream. She's been doing art stream and stuff like that. So, oh, you're on mobile. So only one stream at a time. Yeah, that's going to be real tough. Uh, getting volume increased on mobile is really, really hard. Um, on desktop, I can do a little bit more because I can, I have a, a, an audio compressor that actually is a plugin in my browser that I can apply to streams. And then I can adjust a little bit more control that way but it's still still really difficult to do. Um, I uh, frustrated the hell out of myself, so my microphone is sounding a little different right now, and I'm probably going to have to play with it and dial it in some more. Uh, but I hooked up my big mixer last night, and it's not hooked up anymore because it has a lot of buzzing going out on its mono output, and I don't know that it's worth it to me to fix it, um, the big mixer I have right now is an analog mixer. It's not a streaming mixer. It's 24 channels. So, uh, 22 different input XLR cables that are allowed for it. Um, which is great when I'm actually plugging in a band. Problem is there is no band in my office. Um, the odds of there being a band in my office are very low. Like maybe a guitar and a singer or something like that, but I probably won't ever use this board to its maximum potential. And if I needed to do that, I have another board that's a 32 channel mixer that I could borrow from one of the groups I work with. And that board would be a lot better to learn on because it's actually got digital outputs. And so I could actually do some things with it. Um, where this one is like for a studio band practice, stuff like that. So I'm thinking I will probably get rid of it. Uh, let somebody else do the repairs on that port and, and go from there. Um, I don't think I have any other announcements tonight. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I do. I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There were so many announcements yesterday. I don't know that I even want to make more announcements. If I did have any, um, yeah, that that's it for the moment is just doing stuff here, you know, continuing on with the same kind of stuff and we will, uh, play some Detroit tonight, which I think is going to be really fun. Do you open a file, Photoshop, or are you just broken, broken? I think it's just broken. Yeah. Two, two, two. Let's mix this program real quick, and then I will load up the game. Um... Why do you? Okay, I'll run updates on that stuff later. It's application updates that are being a pain, and that is just fine. Um, do do do. Okay.
Okay. I suppose I have to talk since you guys can't see that I'm typing to somebody else. Um, okay. Well, let's go ahead and dive into the game before my brain gets distracted. Um, you need to do a restart for some updates to happen, but you're in the middle of a video rendering, so it ain't happening for a bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, that was me yesterday. Uh, well, last couple of days because of, was it just yesterday? It was just yesterday. Oh my God. Wow. This week has flown by. Um, so yeah, yesterday, I ran a whole bunch of system updates because after installing the Wacom tablet, I started having issues with everything else. So Photoshop broke down and things like that. So Photoshop broke down after I updated the Photoshop beta, but I didn't update the actual Photoshop production app. So I have to get that updated too now um, and figure out what's broken on there. So I'm just like one thing after another, after another, and then, of course, we got some more games because we're getting ready for stuff for the Christmas stream. And so then I'm doing some things for changing overlays and stuff like that for the Christmas stream. And I'm just like, there is so, so much that needs to happen and so little time to do it. So, you know, we're just going to keep forging ahead. Um, at least I get to take a little bit of a breather on the job hunt stuff so I can focus the attention where I need it to be for a few days. And I am super, super grateful for that, that I get to go relaxing into the holidays instead of like chasing after, you know, the possibilities of anything. So, yeah. Okay. Controller to the on position screen to game music to quiet and we are starting this right from scratch make sure that uh okay youtube is up excellent Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Okay. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? English, English, English. Uh-huh. Subtitle size is small. Um, let's go large so that they're nice and clear for everybody. Yes, let's keep the changes. This Please is great. Your screen settings. Okay. Um, adjust value until center icon is barely visible. Oh, so it has clearly visible, barely visible. And if we go up, we have a not visible one at the bottom. And it disappears. Now for me on the TV with the lights on, it disappears here. But the other one barely visible, it disappeared there. Like I can actually technically see it, but I couldn't see the word barely visible. How is that out there? Um, can you guys see the barely visible one in the middle? I have no idea if you can. <laughs> you can't even see clearly visible on your monitor. Not at all. Okay, let's go up. Just a little bit more because I want to make sure that your experience is good. And I can see it now in OBS. So I'm thinking this is probably good. Yeah. 
On my TV, I can see the not visible just a touch. You barely just see it. Okay, perfect. That's what we want to see then. All right, we'll go with that. Chai, hello, hello. We will keep these changes. Thank you. Now select your profile. Okay. Experience or casual. Okay. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. I want to focus on the story with small, simpler controls. A more forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. This is a tough one. I feel like we should go for experienced on this because we're we're gamers, right? We've been through this. We, we know what it's like to lose a character. In D&D, when you roll the dice, what happens, happens. Just gotta go with it. It does mean that we may have some harder things. Death, death, death. <laughs> we do have the death counter. Um, Speaking of, should we add an update to the trigger warning and get a link on here? Um... Lydia Rose! Hello! Welcome, Raiders! How are you all doing? How was the end of your stream? Let me go close down your window. Um, appreciate you choosing us. Let's get that out of there. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome in, Lydia Rose and friends! Um, we appreciate you raiding over here. We're just about to start in on some Detroit Become Human. Let me just pop over here. Even though we're in VTuber mode today, um, I'm Violacious or Vi for anybody that's coming in from Lydia's channel and doesn't know me. Um, I am a variety streamer. I am a part-time VTuber, part-time PNG tuber, part-time flesh tuber, as they say in the VTubing side of the world. Um, we do a little of literally everything here. We play games, we do art, we cook. We've got an upcoming stream when we get two more followers where we will be doing a bike and baking stream where we put together a bike and bake a recipe that I've never tried before. So it's gonna be an experience. Um we're doing all sorts of stuff. We've got a really fun stream coming up on the 26th of December in the middle of the night uh, as part of the Twitch Women's Unity Guild. Um, and yeah, just lots and lots of fun things in the works. We do mini painting, gaming. We've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom. I know that's what Lydia Rose was doing. Yeah, yeah. Danger as well. <laughs> There's lots, of, lots and lots of that. Thank you, Amy. You rock. Let me copy that real quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, chat box. You gotta be kidding me. Fine. Do, do, do. Actions. That one. Chat, send message. Boom and perfect. So we've got the trigger command there. I'll just put it into the stream title as well. All right. Um, you can just pin it if easier. That sounds like a perfectly fine idea. Yeah. Um, thank you for mentioning your stream sound was non-existent. You were completely unaware. Because you could hear it. Yeah, that is a very tricky thing. Um, getting stream volume dialed in. I know that my stream, like when I go back and look at my VODs and stuff, my volume is really loud. Uh, but it gives me a lot of room to work with it and turn the volume down uh, on output of other things later instead of having it be quiet on stream. And if you attend like music streams and things, they'll be pretty loud too. So it's nice to be able to be in that, 
that same kind of kind of range. Um, right now, my headphones are up louder than normal, so I started hella quiet. Does not surprise me. Um, oh, oh, when I first started, oh my god, yes, I was so so quiet on couch streams. Um, maybe I'm not gonna make any promises, but maybe in February we can uh, revisit some of those couch streams and some of those early early days because i know a lot of you that would be new stuff to you um so that could be kind of fun even though it, it yeah it's definitely a throwback uh looking at the i don't know what i'm doing um and it's funny because i'm still using the same microphone uh i have others but i still my main microphone is still the at2020 um so yeah so maybe we'll do that uh but yeah, we can definitely, um, anytime, you know, do audio, maybe we'll do that at some point. You have a habit of deleting everything from 2021. That's a terrible habit. It was a moment in time, you know, it was, we were there, we went through it and it, it's a history that we, we get to share a little bit. Um, oh, that sucked so bad. Toss it into the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. I mean, I'm not saying it was a good year. But it was a year. We were there. And we get to look back on it and be like, you know what? I learned this. I'm not going to do that again. Or, you know what? In my case, it's like, that was the year that this began. I was sitting on my couch playing Outer Wilds to no one. Be right back and switch devices. No worries. If you need to uh, step away for a few minutes, you know, get some of that uh, off stream stuff, please, please feel free to. And hey, there you go. Hey, we met each other maybe in 2020. I think, did I start in 2020? No, I started in 2021. Because I'm coming up on three years in February. So I wasn't on Twitch yet in 2020. <laughs> so yeah, we did meet each other. Um, a lot of the, the old folks, the old folks, the, the OGs will say, um, who have those first badges and stuff. A lot of them we met in 2021. Um, let's go back to the game. So we are just starting Detroit Become Human. If you are unfamiliar with this game, the premise is that there's AI. Uh, this person in front of us here is an android. That's why she's got that blinking light in her temple. And yes, there are trigger warnings. So if you have any um, things that are triggering for you, uh, we don't talk about them much here, and I don't know when they're coming up because I've never played the game. So I recommend that you click over on that link to the Does the Dog Die uh, website where people have put in, in some cases there are spoilers, but for the most part they just say yes or no to different content that might come up in a game. And so it can be really helpful for being prepared for what might come or if it's something that you're not comfortable with, knowing ahead of time uh, what that experience is going to be like so that you don't um, end up getting yourself into a bad situation where you would not be comfortable watching the content or would put you into a bad state of mind. So, so we like to be able to, to have those up there to help, just help out. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see to be H you saved some from outer wilds. Okay, good. Remember rating in at the end of my playthrough from the outer wilds DLC pup was there as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Towards the end, somebody had put me into the Interloper um, Discord, so I was popping up and finding new folks from the Outer Wilds community, and it was really fun. Um, you can also give some warnings of some triggers when they are coming up, if you remember. Fair enough, Amy, but yeah, I, I don't want anybody to have to, to do that level, but if it's important, um, totally understand, and yeah. Um, we still see Pup quite a bit in uh, other streams, of course. Pup isn't a, a regular here, but does come over sometimes as well. Uh, a lot of folks from our adjacent communities are lurkers over here, so we appreciate their lurks as well. Um, we were just deciding here on if we were going casual or, or, or experienced for our difficulty level, and essentially it's a fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character, advanced controls, and that's what we're going to do. The idea is we play Dungeons & Dragons, we know the consequences of our actions, so that's what we're doing. We are going to have to make some decisions on the fly. I know this already. Um, <clears throat> if there is not a timer, we may give chat some opportunities along the way 
to make some choices or 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 decide with us um we'll kind of stop and discuss some of the things that are going on um i think it's really cool that we're playing this now and i've never played this game i've seen a little bit of pieces here and there and when i say i haven't played this game i have actually played the first about 10 minutes um because i was helping uh my ex play it when i first got my ps4 and she wanted to try it out and then decided not to ever play it and i never went back to it um and it's fitting that i'm playing it playing as a vtuber right it kind of is i hadn't thought about that hmm yeah Maybe I need a little blinking light in the corner of my temple. I I can get a little blinking circle image and drop it on here. Um, <laughs> uh, but no. Um, so so yeah, as we go through it, uh, what fascinates me is we we did you know the chat GPT thing a couple of what was it last week or so, uh, and kind of looked at how generative APIs or AIs aren't really through artificial intelligence like we're looking at here. But it's been interesting to see the changing, like, the changing of society's attitudes already towards AI. And the level of how pervasive it's becoming within business, within the corporate world, within the technology sector. Um, it's becoming huge. Uh, you think you're going to go duck out? now but glad you got to pop in and say a quick hi well thank you chai i really appreciate it also i'm not going to open it today but your present already arrived this morning <laughs> they are very quick coming to my house i guess it helps being near the uh amazon headquarters <laughs> um so yeah so it's going to be interesting to go through this with all of our current ideas of ai in mind um and me being somebody who's worked in automation for, gosh, about 15 years or so. So I've, I've dealt with a lot of this from the business side, but it's more single use. Not, again, not true AI, but where we pose questions and get answers back. So yeah. Um... You love the concepts this game discusses. It's one of the reasons it's one of your favorite games. Yeah, and I know you've played through it a couple of times in different ways, so I'm really, really excited to be able to check this out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make our selections here and go on in. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. Okay. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, Let me know how the volume levels are out there if they're not good. This is story. This is our future. Oh. Okay, then. Not a very distant future. 15 years. Made homemade potato chips today. Nice. 100%ed at one of the few games you 100%ed on your old PS4 account. Oh, cool. Negotiator on site. Negotiator on site. Oh, God. Yeah, I have played just this part. I know this. Oh. Hello, Panda Queen Jen. How are you doing? We're an android. <laughs> Software instability. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. 
girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Find the captain. Hold R2 to consult your objectives. Oh, okay, so we can see where he's at. Hey, <laughs> you saved the fishes. <laughs> okay, I know that we only have a certain amount of time here, so I'm gonna. I don't see any way that we can run or move faster. Oh, we need to talk to the captain first. Okay. Can I see anything else to interact with? Yes. Oh, I can't go over there until I talk to him either. Okay. All right, captain. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, God is making you want to play the already. Falls. Okay, we've got deviance behavior, name, emotional shock. Do you know its name? Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Probability of success, 48% every second counts. Okay, so we're currently less than half. So we've got a gun and ammunition for it. Evian took the father's gun. I don't know why the headphones would matter, but... Child didn't hear the gunshots. Okay, that's important. Why did he do what he did? And why did that not let me go in? 
Why did I just shut the bathroom door? Jesus. Okay, we have three spots in the kitchen. Bunch in here, but I have a feeling we're running low on time. Um, only victim I care about is the dad, not the cops. Matches. Bullet wound also matches. And it is the dad. Where's your fourth clue? something. Okay. Okay, back with toast and full water sounds nice. He ordered a new model. Say locate the hostage. Shoes in the blood. That's one of the little girl's shoes. Hostage could be wounded. Snacks and hydration is very good. First responder. Same. Same shots. Okay, he fired his gun. Where's your third clue? I see you're deceased, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, there was a reconstruct on that. That tells me it's time to get outside. Let's do one more look here. Witnessed the shooting, was there with them. 
cop shot the deviant. Did he shoot first? No. Deviant shot first. That's the cop's weapon. I guess that's a scientific test for an android. He's able to determine what model of deviant he's dealing with. Okay, so we've got a name, a model. Do we want this? Connor loves his evidence. Nom nom nom. Interesting choice putting it back. What else is there for us to look at in here? That's pretty much it. Okay. Yep, I'm going out without the gun. Ow. Stay back. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Probability of success dropped. Gain his trust and approach slowly. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I, I just want all this to stop. Close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. But I matter. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. Please. I never wanted this. Please. I love them. I'll help you in a minute. You know? Can't worry about you right now. But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. The situation is under control. No, it's not really, but... Okay, you're really here now. Welcome back, Samsara. Trust me. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. I can't do that. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's bold. Uh, compromise? That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. Then step I'm not forward. Going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you.
well. That was a choice that was made. You lied to me, Connor. I didn't know. You lied to me. Mission successful, but our own instability has begun. <laughs> It's not exactly like the cops were paying attention to anything that Connor was saying or doing. They did not care. Trophy earned. Thank you. This game made you feel guilty about upgrading devices. No kidding. Thank you for the hydrate. That's a wonderful idea. Um, do I have... I don't think I have it, but I might have to look for a movie. Add it to the uh, movie wish list here. Oh, no, I do have it. Where are you? It says it's up on the top shelf. Alphabet. Oh, yeah, it's up there. Uh, Bicentennial Man. Which was uh, Robin Williams. The thing you, we were talking about last night is it is resolved. It's off, and you're so relieved. I am glad that you have resolution. That is that is wonderful. Um, all right. Uh, but yeah, I totally get that. After an intense scene, hydration is important. Yes. Um, after dying in boss fights, uh, also very important. Um, yeah. All right. So this is the scene's flow chart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flow chart. Okay, makes sense. You mean you are happy for you and you are in bed. <laughs> yes. Okay. That is not an alcoholic beverage you hear clinking. I have an energy drink because I dozed off before stream and thought that I might need a little assistance to keep myself going. Um, let's take a look here. So, with the flowchart, we did just about everything we really could on the searching for clues, because we did end up looking at the cop's body, found the gun, all that stuff. We left the cop's gun, so that was a locked ending. Show legend. Locked paths. Oh, because I didn't take the cop's gun... That locked an entire path of options here. You have an energy drink. Wondering if you need another glass of honey mead. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. So then we learned the deviant's name, but that also left a locked path that we didn't do here. Interesting. Um, oh, we can zoom in. I see. Okay. So we looked at everybody. We ended up going outside. We didn't deal with the cop on the ground because that would have been... No, you're taking care of the humans. You're on the human side. That would have just been bad. Um, and the sooner we could get that situation over with, the sooner we could actually get him help. He knew what he was doing. We signed up for the job. Um, we took a friendly approach. We dismissed the, the helicopter. We did get close enough. Okay. We lied to the Deviant, but we built trust by lying to the Deviant. So, is that a good thing? I don't know. 
And then there are six different possible endings that could have happened. We could have diverted from building trust to two others. I don't know that there's any way that we could have saved the Deviant. So, yeah. Um, that's that. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, didn't mean for you to go, but the, uh, the first time I played this, like I said, I played it for about 10 times. Maybe more than six if I'd taken the gut. That's a really good point. Yeah, because there was that branch back here. I can see that the save the fish was a completely side optional thing. Um, public opinion is skeptical. Software instability question mark. Oh yeah, so this one, if we had have gotten that, that would have been additional information, but it still would have led to us needing to go confront the deviant. I think the first time I played this, I think I did take the gun. And I know that the ending was not that positive. And I say that knowing that, like, people already lost their lives and an android's gone too. But the first time I played it was worse. All right, let's go forward. November 5th, 2038, Cyber Life Incorporated. Model AX400, serial 5791026940, BIOS 7.4, revision 0483, reboot, memory reset. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And, diners, and handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. You don't remember much of the game and your choices from your relationship with one? Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Apart from your relationships with one particular character, okay. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. I can show you $1,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts of it. Are we supposed to be standing still? We'll take it. <laughs> I mean, An excellent others are looking around. Contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. Some pre owns. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It oh. Was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. He's like, that's probably a Give good thing. A My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. All right. All that just to get to the beginning. Everyone just advertising all the AI, the technology. Uh, it's nothing like this. I haven't been there myself, but it suffered a lot uh, about 15 years ago or so. 
Don't spoil the illusion. Well, that part's not illusion. That's what it looks like. Years ago, I looked at buying a house there because you can buy a house there for like $2,000 because of how badly it was hit um, and affected by the economy and changes. Which is probably why they chose to put this as the setting in, in Detroit. You don't want to buy those houses, but... Okay, who are we now? Yeah, there's very good reasons for the price. Um, the androids out here taking care of the lawn. So this is kind of an interesting one right out of the gate. When we look at, well, I'm going to pause it just so I'm not like running time in case there's time-based decisions in this one. Um, when we look at AI technology, things like this, we look at lawnmowers, weed eaters, stuff like that. And cars is a really good example. When we switch over to self-driving cars and electric motors instead of combustion engines, you stop needing big spaces to store the engine. So if you don't need the front of a car, or the back of a car to hold an engine, what does the car now look like? If the car's whole purpose is just to hold passengers, do all the seats face forward? Or if it's moving gear, does it even need to be a car? Does it need to be the size of a van to carry a box or does it need to be the size of the box? And things like that. So having androids using our technology weed eaters Instead of having like a Roomba, which they already make Roomba lawnmowers, so that's a thing. Um, having like a Roomba based one with a bunch of sensors and some different custom piece of technology would be how we would more likely see this scenario play out instead of them being humanoid. And I know that they're trying to show it this way because of the androids taking the place of the people and and that implication and being able to recognize it in place. But it is kind of interesting to see that. And um, for Detroit, yes, there is a good reason. So we had a big housing market crash back in 2006 to 2008, um, right on its heels as the market was crashing, a bunch of people's homes were foreclosed upon. And we also saw a major downturn in automobile sales. Uh, Detroit was the main hub in the United States for manufacturing of cars and steel. We stopped doing steel production from new stock and we switched over to doing mostly recycled steel. And in doing so, the factories were not in Detroit for the ones that they were actually using. And all of the ones in Detroit needed to be retrofitted and basically shut down. And so overnight, the, the city lost, I don't know how many jobs, but we're talking like, hundred thousand plus jobs in one city lost in a very very short period of time and so entire neighborhoods of people who were actually relatively well off for the area were completely bankrupted and lost their homes everything that they knew and and loved and had to move away to find new opportunities there weren't any opportunities where they were and so they had to leave to go to other plants and other cities and things like that. And it just left these vacancies all over the place. And vacancies led to homes for vagrants, you know, and, and we're not ones to talk about like down about people experiencing homelessness or the troubles that come with it. Um, but when you talk about vacant properties and the people that do occupy them, oftentimes you see increases in crime that go along with communities that are struggling and have needs or are fighting amongst each other. And so it creates undesirable properties, further bringing down the values of the properties around it and affecting even more people. And so the city just took hit after hit after, after hit. Um, and then a bunch of out-of-towners started buying up the houses. And so they have those houses that are still there that are super cheap in those neighborhoods that were worst affected 
uh, by the scenario. It has been chosen by the city setting to revitalize a city that had succumbed to economic decline after a historical com contribution to the American industry. Exactly. Yeah, so that I was like, I'm pretty sure that they chose it because of what happened here that made it inter I what do I want to say it's it would be more more vulnerable to cheap alternate labor in order to bring it into like in order to revitalize the city in order to bring it back to having a functional economy it would need cheaper labor than what people could afford to provide so yeah it's a parallel okay i'm gonna leave it on the pause scene because uh, i snoozed ads during the cutscene, and they're trying to run on us so i'm gonna push the button let them run a few seconds before it's actually gonna go and we'll see you back here in three minutes so hang out uh we're gonna stand up stretch do all that good stuff and we suggest that you do the same we'll see you in just a minute All right, welcome back. Thank you for enduring those ads. 
as they remind us to get a break. And I see that Annie is fighting to keep her eyes open. So good night, Annie. Thank you so much for hanging out for a little bit. And um, the bot will definitely be up. We are streaming also over on YouTube. So uh, it will be up immediately over on YouTube, not the um, old uh, up tomorrow kind of thing. Let me just make sure that it's actually caught up. Yeah, there we go. I minimized it so YouTube stops the video, the game or the video feed. And then when you go back to it, it's like, do you want to go back to live? Because you're going to have to push a button. Otherwise, we're going to start you where you left off. Which is a little different than the uh, Twitch experience. I'm not saying either one's right or wrong. They're different. Um, that looking around that I'm doing is I set my controller down. <laughs> I found it. Uh, Amy, your break summary, coffee, cupcakes, candy, and coziness. The the, the four C's of a fantastic t use of a break. Um, I wish I had all four right now. I don't have cupcakes. I did not get pastries with my grocery order. I have... Oh, I do have candies. I have Zots and sour candies always. Um... And unmarked candies. That's that's about the closest I've got. The coffee would be good. All right, we're resuming our exploration with whoever this is. Do we have a flowchart already? Walking in the park. Shades of color and lots and lots of locked choices. Whoa, that was a big bark, Nika. I guess I'm letting Nika in. We're not starting right away. Sorry. Okay. Hi, puppy. I don't have any food. You know that. Here we go. Talk to you. Water? I don't have any water. I'm sorry. And that's not water that you're hanging on to there, sir. Not this way. Oh, we're going somewhere. Can I go this way? No, it stops me. Okay. So my character is still on a path. Let me stand here awkwardly and look at the couple that's sitting on the bench. So yeah, it's thought that self-driving cars are going to look more like those boxy taxi things than like that bike car there in the background, which is just there to make us feel comfortable for now. Wait for green light. Okay. Android work ahead. One person overseeing what the androids are doing. Interesting. Oh, there's green. Use R2 to use GPS. Okay. Such a clever way to enforce a boundary in a game because, like, they are androids, so it tracks. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that you can't go, it's that your character has said, I'm not going to. So now we can't go backwards because it's against the path that we're on. Am 
Okay, we're going to the paint shop for our order. years. We want jobs. We want not more androids. We want. We need to ban androids now. We want work. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? When do we want it? I'm gonna get out of there because that seems hostile, and I'm an android. Uh, but the idea that 35 percent of a 35% unemployment in the next 15 years. From everything that I understand, that is highly likely. Uh, usually we have about a 3 to 4% unemployment rate. That is considered typical. We can no longer live without these slaves obeying our every selfish desire. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Technology is our god now. It was supposed to serve man, but it is becoming our new master. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Androids are evil. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? Far down here, is it? Lenny paints. There it is. No, no, internet. You don't go leggy on me now. Ours is holding strong, but um, let me know if it does start acting up, especially on the Twitch side. Uh, you also know we do have YouTube up to your dream store. Uh, yeah, this is not... I was thinking house paints. I was thinking like a Sherwin-Williams or something. Like... Oh no, and this is a small store, like a very boutique paint shop. Are these just straight chunks of pigment? Like, to be powdered pigment? Oh wait, what? I'm like, there might be a time. Let's look at the labels. <laughs> Fire Engine Red, Dark Pastel Red, Deep Carmine, Antique Ruby... Use that one. Lincoln Green. Laurel Green. I wonder why they reused the antique ruby label. What? Oh, they reused Fire Engine Red, too. Give me the pencils! There's the colors and the pigments. Nika, you just came in. Please don't bark at me about this. Uh-huh. Hi, puppy. Hello, Android. Would you like to... Let's use near-field communications. Identification verified. Here is your order, number 847. That will be $63.99. Please confirm payment. Okay. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. You have this game but still haven't played it yet? Uh, well, this is my first time playing it. Uh, I actually got it for free with my PS4. Um, and played like 
the first scene and that was it. So this is my first experience as well. Um, you play as various different androids going through the story and choosing actions as you see fit. Um, some of the consequences can be devastating. You have Amy's copy? Oh my gosh. So when Amy said that she wants to play it again... Sam, sorry, I guess you better play it. Because <laughs> I think it needs to go home soon. <laughs> Alright, we've got our box of paints. Look at all these brushes. I will say I don't have that many brushes. I probably do have like a third of that display though, which is more than any one person ever should need. Unless you rebuy or go nine hours, which you'd rather the latter. Yeah, absolutely. Just like all the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> yep, definitely not that many brushes here. Uh-huh. I have the two, like, mugs full on my desk, which is, like, two of those little containers that they had in there. Um, and then, let's see, can I see? Oh, look at all the pigments. I wish I had something that actually hung my brushes like that and worked. Switch camera angle. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Where are we supposed to go now? Take the bus home. Okay. You want that horse model? I had a little... Um... Oh yeah, that is a good one. I had a little like drawing figure uh, that was actually for anime, so it's sized slightly differently. Um... But it was cool because you could swap out the hands and you could put different items in its hands. So it had like weapons and pens and paintbrushes and a laptop and all that different type of stuff um, and different ways of mounting it so that it could be standing or sitting. So it wasn't just the standard like wooden drawing form. Um, but I gave it to my friend's kid because it's been sitting on a shelf in my room collecting dust for years and uh, she had one. But she had one of the wooden ones and some pieces were broken off of it. And so I was just like, here, kiddo, like, I know you draw a lot more than I do. So why don't you have this? It's for like comic drawings, artists and superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. Manga and and comics and things like that. And uh, she does some manga style. The storefronts are cool, too. Yeah. I did want to look at more of them. So since it doesn't seem to have a timer on. Go outside. Okay. Let's go. <coughs> oh, I know. <coughs> Wearable media player, biosensors. Back here to order. Wait, is that me? No, it's slightly different. Yeah, it's a different face. Once we actually look at our face. $80, nine in stock, tap here to order. He's like, why is there no doggos? Yeah. She's looking in the backyard trying to figure out what's going on. She doesn't want to go out, but she wants to bark out there like there's something out there. Hit your mood, biosensors, check your heartbeat. Connected, download your look. What? Download your look? But I can't interact with it. I guess I don't have my own money, so that makes sense. Adaptive clothing sounds so cool, right? One outfit, change your style. As long as it's self-laundering, because, like... Auto resize, too? self clean. Oh, it is self-cleaning. No need to wash. <laughs> of course it is. I mean... That's pretty freaking awesome, though. One outfit, so you don't need closet space. Self-cleaning, so you don't need a washer and dryer. You don't need to use the energy for a washer and dryer. It must require energy, but I assume that everything has a way of, like, 
wirelessly charging. Digi groceries. Uh, okay, that is already how I get my groceries. I very rarely go to the store. I go to the store for other people. I go to the store for special items, special recipes, one-offs. Um, oh, we have to go past them to get to the bus stop. Okay, do I want to go street side or do I want to go in front of Cyber Life? There are people looking at Cyberlife. There's the planners in between them, and they don't seem to be harassing the folks on the other side. So I'm going to go in front of Cyberlife. Yeah, for an $80 investment, that's huge. You order your groceries to be delivered, too. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not so much. Yeah. I, I have a hard time with, like, produce and deliveries. No entry for purchased androids. Okay, is there anywhere else? Just take the bus. Doesn't look like there's anything else around. All androids must ride in the designated section. Oh my god, they did a segregated bus? Wow. Do not attempt to break glass. They put warnings back here to us, too. I avoided a whole section. Oops. I guess going past the preacher or walking down the aisle where the paint place was and continuing down that track. It's just the protesters. Oh, yeah. I, I did avoid the protesters. I looked at them from a distance before I could walk over and then I walked around behind them because I didn't want to catch their attention if I could help it. They can rough you up. I had a feeling that they would. So I was just like, yeah, you know what? We're just going to be non-confrontational right now and avoid the hostile people. Uh, we did watch the preacher and he yelled at us. So that was a side story. Oh, there's one, two, three, four additional side stories that all would have just played out and only one of them had two options. All right. Same day. Oh, we're back as, it's Kara, right? Burned out house and yeah. Kara and Marcus, yeah. I didn't know who Mark Marcus's name until I saw it in the list, but and then of course Connor. Yes. Join Todd. All right, I'm on my way, Todd. You coming? Yeah. Just a second here. Rebuild North Corktown, a better place to live. Okay, so they're rebuilding. Whoops, let's not walk on the grass. I have seen a little bit of Todd. So the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. And you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! 
Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Urgent tasks. Collect trash. Optional. Collect dishes. Activate vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. There's one more urgent task not here. Potential trigger warning coming up for drug use. Yes. Thank you, Amy. Okay. Collect dishes. Okay. Component yeah, yeah. five seven three yeah. EV order processing. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, I said put down and now I'm washing the dishes. What do you want me to swipe? I can't do anything. Oh, wait, there it goes. That's weird. Oh! It wanted me to rotate my controller. I was like, what is it trying to show me? <laughs> I'm like, the stick's not working. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Okay. Anything else in here we can interact with now that we've done the dishes? No, just bring Todd a beer. And there's a couple of them. YouTubers do fun dances when the model gets confused. Yeah. Yeah, it gets a little wild when I have to leave the screen. Okay. Optional task was turn on this, activate the vacuum, collect the trash, and check the backyard. Is he going to be mad about that? Well, it gives Alice something to play with, so that's good. Oh, he's gonna yell at her. Alice, you better stop that right now. Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. Collect trash in trash bin. Okay. Kitchen counter.
Okay, we need to check the backyard. It's a magic trash bin. Oh, it's absolutely a magic trash bin. Wait. We can't go to the backyard yet. Okay. I probably shouldn't have picked up the trash. Me too, trash bin. Me too. <laughs> I like that they added the detail that she has to pause and put the bags moved in order to fit through the door. Overdrawn account, past due balance, pay by digital invoice system for water usage, credit card application denied. So gas is being shut off, bank account is overdrawn by over a thousand dollars. And water hasn't been paid either. Okay, there's another urgent task that we have not found yet. Return to Todd's house. I hadn't left Todd's house. What's going on over there? Other than them just tearing down an old warehouse and building something new. Nope, you won't let me go that way either. Okay, so we're back into the house. Notice it isn't return home, it's return to Todd's house. Yeah. Report to Todd. What's wrong, Todd? Oh, this is where he's... ...having some issues. Take down the laundry. Oh. How long has this been out here? Wash the laundry. Hold up. You like playing out here? Aren't you going to school today? Okay, we'll do some laundry. <gasps> Meanwhile, Todd is not doing well in the other room. 
Oh. And I assume that's why. Red ice. Oh, it actually gives us a chemical breakdown of whatever this is. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. I'm doing laundry, Todd. Makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Oh, yeah. The way he talks about Alice was enough to know that. And we know that she did not get hit by a car. There's some other things just lying around. You disco you can reread discovered what? I missed that note. Transport innovation that's shaking up California. Connecting the dots. Politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Yes. China and earthquake deals. Ten thousand people too real. These are magazine articles and you can reread them in the menu. Okay. Transport Innovation Shaking Up California, the new sub-tube. Uh-huh. This is a thing. It's a failure, but it's a thing. Commuters, this raises the tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. Top, top speed of the 1,800 mile per hour was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber, providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Yeah, but what are the G forces of traveling at 1800 miles per hour? We've looked at this as like trains that would allow us to live hours away from where work is currently, but communities that don't have any job opportunities so there's no reason to stay there if there's not a high-speed way to get to a bigger sake. location i'm sorry todd it won't happen again i've made a good start down here i'll head upstairs do what you have to do but stop bothering me That's going to come up in a minute. Be right back. Going to pick up takeaways. That sounds like a good idea. We can't open this door. Okay. Kara's, or uh, Alice's room. In the bathroom. Arrange bottles. Store dirty clothes. Whoops. I'm back. Ventilate the room. That's probably important. Let's do that now.
with more bills. I don't think there is anything in this place that's yum. <laughs> like he's got potato chips, just open bags laying around. Oh, androids and sports. That's going to be an interesting one. Antidepressant. Oh, that's a combo. You've unlocked an additional dialogue option. Often beneficial. Not always. Maybe I should have done Alice's room first. What a waste of potato chips. Yeah, it doesn't even look like he actually ate any of them. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I'd worry about tidying the guitar. That's going to be... Wait. What did I just see? Counting his room is done. The only other things we can do is pick up the guitar or the TV and... Oh, there's a stand for the guitar over there. Okay, fine. Oh, we didn't put it in the stand! What the heck? Imagine Kara play the guitar? That'd be wonderful! Zoju Katana, welcome in! Let's wait before we open that door. <laughs> no, he didn't wash his hands. The toilet wasn't even finished flushing before he left. He absolutely didn't even try to. And how is there two bathrooms in this tiny space? That's interesting. Separate toilet and shower. Oh, it is! It's like two different types of bathrooms. Interesting. It's not stuttering. That's the game. <laughs> I'm not used to using these controls. Is that not common there? So when I design houses, um, you've probably seen this in The Sims, that I like to put the toilet in a separated room as part of the overall bathroom. Not completely separate rooms, but like a toilet room that you go into the restroom where the shower, the sinks, things like that are, and then a separated area where the toilets are. But most of our bathrooms are toilet, shower, sink. You're not... Your controlling touchpad has some stutter. Yes. My controlling touchpad uh, has been sitting here covered in dust for months. <laughs> so I think the last time that I played on this PlayStation was in May. So I probably need to uh, do a little cleanup. 
or calibration or both. Is there anything else in here? Not going to have us like clean the bathtub or anything. I like the uh, snorkeling gear, that's a nice touch. Okay. Alice's room isn't urgent, optional is the restroom. Okay, we'll do that now then. Is there even a sink in the bath? There isn't even a sink in there. It was just a toilet room, but it's down the hall. That's weird. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland. Excellent choice. Of course. You watched some inappropriate scene and the girl talk is about fighting fantasy thing. So you got interested and rephrased the fight scene in paragraph. And it show a lot as you expected. I'm not sure what that's in reference to. This is my first playthrough. Oh, the Blue-Eyed Samurai? Okay. Ventilate room, make bed. Shelves. Okay. We'll save the bed for last right now. Oh, it's on Netflix. Okay. Unlocked some dialogue. All right. Seems you like reading. That's a good thing. That feels like a bad idea. You want the fox plushie? It is a pretty good one. I know that the box probably would give me additional dialogue options, but I don't sure want that. Be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? What about your mother? Will she be Probably home soon? Probably not the best idea. Yeah. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Oh. No, before we go there, she gave us a key for a reason. And I didn't want to touch this before because I didn't want to do it when we hadn't gained her trust. Mm -hmm. 
four leaf clover. Jerk was crying. Odd hitting Kara. Breaking Kara. Causing Alice to cry again. we keep stepping over the book too. Back again. Hello Samsara. Welcome back. Hope the takeaway is wonderful. Boy Samurai was very good. Okay. Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Okay, uh, here's the paragraph you want to mention about a lot. Um, so the opponent runs towards the swordsman, and the guy carries the opponent and strike his blade. He slashes the opponent with a diagonal cut to his opponent. The guy managed to survive his opponent attack until the open attack. He stabbed his torso 28 times. The opponent's weak. He cut the opponent's head. Oh, sure. Oh, no, I, I just didn't know what the reference was. That's all. Thank you for the hydrate. That's important. Super intense scene there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Nearly everything discovered. Yeah, we got uh, most of it this time. It looks like we missed one thing. On the second floor, we discovered a way down, and we saw the gun. Um, I'm not sure what we even missed, because it was on the second floor, and I don't know what options we had left. Uh, we cleaned the bathroom, we read the Android QB. We talked to Alice. I guess the only thing we didn't do is pick up the box before we got the key. So... That was almost a complete, complete section. We did the whole first floor stuff. You're delayed? Oh, uh-oh. Hopefully it wasn't just me just reading slow, because that's also a thing. <laughs> okay. Same day still, later in the day.
it's only 9 58 a.m like all of this has happened in the first few hours of the day or we rewound to marcus's story because he went to get the paints Deposit package. Okay. Hello, Marcus. You get chips, corn dog, potato fritters, and a pineapple fritter. Oh my gosh. Do I want to open the bird cage? That feels like something I shouldn't do. Like I have no reason to. Do it? You want me to free the birds? Let them go loose in the house? No. Nope. Where am I going? Wake Carl upstairs. Take care of Carl. I'm not doing it because in Mist 4 Revelations, I had an option. I think later I had was forced, but I had an option to free butterflies, which were part of an experiment of Yisha's. And I had the option early. And I chose to not open the container because whether or not I understood it, it wasn't my experiment. It wasn't my pet. It wasn't, it wasn't something that I needed to do for my own sake. And without a reason to do it, it's just causing chaos. And so I don't want to hurt somebody else just to cause chaos. Anything in here? The piano. You could wake him by playing the piano, I imagine. This is a very nice little place that they've got here. Especially uh, the contrast after leaving Todd's house. There's a giraffe? Uh-huh. Checkmate for s in s three moves for silver. Very nice. I like that these are shaped like, uh, like they're books. President Warren, too close to cyber life? Bonus culture, why bankers pay themselves so much? North Pole, well, why Russia wants it? Okay. Russia's interest in the North Pole is intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing Ethereum. Android manufacturer increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economies, but this isn't just about GDP. Surplus Ethereum reserves would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. At this, the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute starts to seem unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. 
President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion that simple, for, simple, Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we will make them understand. Life found on Titan, the evidence for alien life grows. Nice. It's about microbes and whatnot. Cool. Just the standard giraffe dev that everyone has. Yeah. Yeah, I totally have a giraffe. Okay, I suppose we should go see Carl. Oh, I said... Well, let's see if it's play the piano or just look at it. Oh, there's something to look at over here. Can I get a different angle on it? No. So, Bible, Shakespeare... Whoa. Opened up the moment we entered. Oh, we've got an ad. We'll be back in three minutes. So we'll pause here before we go wake up. Uh... Carl. That's his name. Carl. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Please enjoy some tunes. We'll see you in just a few.
Welcome back. Thank you for enduring those ads and a couple of uh, moments extra there as I was scarfing some food down. Catching up on some other messages. All right, let's go wake up Carl. Those are interesting. Like, these are antiques, very cultural. The crystal skull, not so much, but I mean, some cultures. The stuffed armadillo, the giraffe, the books. Oh, the ceiling, too. It's an interesting mix because the art is very... I'm not saying classical in like it's a classical style, but the the look and feel of everything around here is very much what you would expect in like a fine art space. And then the geometry of these pieces on the ceiling and of that vase over in the corner, those two vases actually, is almost like a whimsy that doesn't feel like it fits. No, don't push that button. He just went for it. He was like, no, I'm going to open it. <laughs> I may have had my finger on the button because I was trying to turn the camera. <laughs> it's a very interesting mix. That's a lot of paint. Okay, we have a chair lift. Interesting. Deer all have their tongues out. Hmm. Yeah, because we all have fossilized skeletons hanging from our ceilings, too. You love the texture and that they capture in the paintings too. Yeah, that was really nice. Very good detail. You're just a window. Okay. This Carl's room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, of course there's a fossil to coordinate with the giraffe. I mean, naturally. This is more museum than house. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I suppose. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Like the androids are already already being made obsolete by new versions. I think that uh, they're probably just as fragile as humans.
Let me pause. Yeah, one concept you love, the idea of an AI companion assistance. Absolutely agree. I think it's a, a really, really good idea. Um, I think that it kind of, it's one of the things that's going to be necessary. And I think that's a really important piece to look at when we're looking at this stuff is, is how that really comes together. Because if, if we're going to have AI and androids and robots and all of these different things, they need to do the things that we can't do for ourselves. And I think you just typed it, but the, yeah, the form of being independent or form of independence without being independent. When you know that you need assistance, but you don't want to be inconvenient. Or you get a Samsara, you know, that might be the answer too. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, knowing you aren't being an inconvenience to or bother to someone when you're dependent on assistance. Exactly. Yeah. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your that's, usual that's fan right. mail. I've already answered. Oh. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Exactly. Get back to life. Race Carl. <laughs> you three sixties, I bet. Well, you're starving. Do you have a kitchen? Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Take Carl to the dining table. Oh, it's over here. I wonder if a Carl 360 is an achievement. When did we make breakfast? Oh, he's even growing his own wheatgrass in his kitchen. Interesting. Quickly really sliding in to say that you saw Final Fantasy IX was 60% off. You remember recommending that one i have so i would recommend anything in the series so you had to finally get it okay uh you watch the trailer and have no idea where all this dust from the sahara came from uh-huh um so i would recommend a lot of final fantasy games i have not played through nine it's on my list of ones to play through um i have played one uh almost all of two before that was back before, or on the old computer. Um, oh, let's take the breakfast. Um, so yeah, I, I have not played three, four, five, six, or no, three, five, and six. I played four a couple of times. Um, seven, I've played a couple of times, like two and a half. Eight, I've played like maybe the first 25-30%, and nine, I have not played at all. I've watched my brothers play it. Um, ten, I've played a couple times. Ten, two, I played through once to a bad ending. Twelve, I've played about half of it. Thirteen, I played through. Thirteen, two, I played through. Lightning Returns, I haven't finished yet. 
Uh, 14 and 11 are MMOs, so they don't count in the mainline series. And then 15 I've played through, plus the DLC. Uh, well, most of the DLC. They issued some of it after I was done with the game. Uh, 16 I have not touched. And Type 0, I've only played the tutorial of it. But as you can tell, I really, really like that series. Um... And the way that they do storytelling and world building and all of those things, I think are really great. Um, so I will be playing nine. Um, it's no longer in this room because I took all my games out of here. But either eight or nine, I don't remember which one. One of those two I have in both English and Japanese versions. And so my plan is to play both um, in parallel and see if they differ. But we'll see if we do that or not, or if I just play Japanese and see if I can understand it. All right, we have the breakfast. But yeah, nine nine is a good one. Um, I also saw earlier that there is a Final Fantasy three three D remake, which I had no idea existed. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region. I thought that when he said television, he wanted us to turn it on, and then it just turned on. <laughs> like I suppose that makes sense. And the Russian flag now flies over the ice field. The Russian president repeated in a speech to the Duma that the Arctic belongs to Russia as a matter. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Oh, and the TV's double sided. That's cool. Is it mirrored? No. That's impressive. Also, you hope it's okay to ask, but what's my. What is my view on using emulators to play Legend of Zelda games, not streaming, just on uh, playing offline, the older ones? Nintendo Switch is def of the first things on your save up list when you get a job, hopefully next year. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you two conflicting answers. And yes, as you know, don't talk about emulators on stream if you're using one, because most cases, emulated games are in a gray area of legality based on uh, their availability, licensing, all of that stuff. Um, Nintendo goes after people for using emulators, uh, but there are people that do randomizers and things like that that require some level of emulation. Uh, so I think there's a benefit to it. I also think that for like mobile games, um, handheld consoles that are being played now and captured for streaming and things like that, emulators are a great way to go. Um, there's a couple of things you have to watch out for, especially like console games on PC is the code ports are not always perfect. Um, and sometimes they can be easier. So some of the difficulty level might not be there that you might want some of the challenge that's built into the game inherently. Um, the one I will say, I would play any of them on the switch with the exception of the Nintendo 64, and only because I have never been able to get my hands on a Nintendo 64 Switch controller, but if I can get my hands on one of those controllers, I will say the Switch is a few hundred dollars, and the controller's, I think, like 50 bucks or something like that. I'm talking in USD. Uh, versus my N64 was 140 the controllers are about 30 still for it to even get the old ones, and they don't make new ones. And picking up a copy of Ocarina of Time, you're talking about another $125 to $250 for a single game. So using original hardware the way that I do is not, no, 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 not advised for anybody. Um, I buy the games that I want because I want to collect them. Um, 
highly sought after games are very expensive. Um, one of the most expensive games is a horror game. And it's one that I would have loved to have done uh, last year for October. And I went to find it and I couldn't even find it in stock because obviously used games, they come and go quickly, but it was $400 for a single game. And when you don't even know if, if it's one you're going to like or anything like that, it's a huge investment. Um, so yeah, so it can be, it can be really, really tough. Um, if you want to do some of that stuff and some things are not available on emulation. Other things are like, you know what? The best bet is emulation. So a good example of that is I have Parasite Eve 1 and 2, and I have original hardware. But the disc is scratched, and it might be damaged. So I'm going to take it in and have it resurfaced and hope that it gets me past the point that we're stuck at. But it might not. And if it doesn't, then emulation might be the only way to go, because I'm not going to spend another you know, $125 or so to get that another copy of the game just to see if I can get past that one one spot. Um, but yeah, it's it's more about collecting than it is about uh, actually playing. And um, Illusion of Gaia is another one of those. That was over $100. But that one is still in the original box with the original book. And then I have it wrapped in a plastic box on the outside of that. Um, to keep it all nice. But we took it out and played it on the, the console and everything. We didn't like it. It's not saran wrap. Television off. Okay. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Yep. It's pretty sad, Carl. This is very true. Eat your eggs. Wait, was there a loading bar on that? Oh no, it's not that. Find something to do. Play chess. Oh, now we can look at the things. Okay, so now we can play the piano, play chess. Read a book. Or play the piano. And I'm going to choose the piano. This is an interesting way to play a piano. The sides of my uh, touchpad are not as good, so as I start using more than one finger, it starts finding that dust again. There we go. 
not great at holding the rhythm. <laughs> oh, hi, Carl. Did you finish Something your breakfast? Changed in the way you play. Yeah, my rhythm was terrible. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. All right, Carl, let's go to the studio. Oh, where are you going? Wow, he is very patient. <laughs> I thought for sure there'd be some dialogue for that. Wee! <laughs> Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Oh, that's cool. That's a good use of a robot. So you spin around in circles. I see what you're saying. Well, Carl, what do you think? The yeah, machine had to get in a wheelchair. So, yeah, I imagine. What's your verdict, Marcus? Um, I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Okay. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm going to try to paint. Find a subject to paint. The statue. The desk. I don't want to paint Carl's painting. These are the only things that I have the options for. Desk, statue, or Carl's painting. If those are the choices, I'm going with the desk. That is a perfect copy. Reality. The painting is not about 
replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Left, right, left, right. Yeah, definitely like a printer. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. The light at our temple is going crazy now. Android's humanity identity. Ooh. Well, I've seen hum humans. I'm going with identity. Despair, doubts, prisoner. Doubts. I have doubts right now. Life can yellow as he learns. It's vaguely himself. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Yeah. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. Not paying the for that? The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. We didn't get any choices through any of that. It was just watch. <clears throat> I noticed that their sensor turns red. Oh, there were a lot of things we couldn't do here. So Leo was going to intrude and ask for money no matter what. Oh, I'm not on the PlayStation Network. I'm not logged in right now, so I probably have to reset the network settings on this PlayStation. So what, what did we have? We had arriving home, drop off the package. We know the bottom one, we didn't open the birdcage. Serve breakfast and something else. Find something to do. We had three choices. We chose play the piano and hopeful. We could have read or played chess. Those just seem too mechanical to me. If you're logged in, you can see the global percent. Okay. Hello, King. How are you doing? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for lurking. 
You're making some noodles. Nice. I'm going to probably do that after stream. Okay. Paint something you see. The copy doesn't look like that was going to unlock anything. Paint from the heart. We chose identity. So we had the three things we could choose from. Then each one of those would open a choice. And so that is locked, obviously. We only had the option to choose one. And then Leo intrudes to ask for money. Okay. Still the same day, but now the night. So we've made it through the day. Connor. How you been, Mr. Negotiator? Going to a bar. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. And we're going in. Planning to do some paint by numbers? Nice. I have a couple of those uh, that my ex left behind. Shit, I thought I had George Ward allowed in here. Well, I assume you're not who I'm looking for. Definitely does get into some heavier topics, no absolutely. Mismatch. John Graham. Wait. Unemployed criminal record. None. Born 1987. Buy me a drink? So I thought. Kim Johan. Delivery driver. Currently unemployed. Domestic abuse, born in 1999. Guess we just keep this up. I doubt the bartender is going to be who we're looking for. Jimmy Peterson, business owner, criminal record none. Christopher Gray, unemployed, had a DUI. Looks older in his ID than he does there. Lieutenant Anderson, Hank Anderson, police lieutenant. Wait a minute, isn't that an actor? I know I found Lieutenant Anderson, but I want to see who else is here. Yay, Mr. Krabs. Dennis Ward, and you are a narcotics supplier. Oh. Hey, get out of here. Manic Zombie. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Let me pause the game. We'll pop over here for a minute. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. La La Life. Hello, hello. With some lovely, uh, oh. Little dance and trance pause. Love it. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, Manic Zombie, you're our first timer here. So, folks, I know that for a lot of you, there's a heart matching this Ace of Hearts up at the top of your chat. So, why not give them a follow and check out our new friend? Um, and Sheba Licks, hello, hello. Welcome in. Hi. Let's see what we're up to. You were playing some Baldur's Gate 3. Very fun. I'm looking forward to getting started with that soon with some friends. Um, haven't picked it up yet, but it's on the list. Uh, 
how was your stream? I hope it was wonderful. And of course, if you need to raid and run, um, feel free to do so. Don't don't feel like you have to stick around. I know we all finish stream because we're tired and worn out and ready to get away from our desks. So so feel free. But thank you so much for raiding over and welcome new friend. We're glad to have you here. Uh, I'm Violacious. Most people call me Vi. Uh, I am a variety streamer. Tonight we're playing some Detroit Become Human, which was Amy Ward Art's request for uh, viewers pick games through channel points. So we're playing this one for a bit. Um, we're going to play all the way through it because of course we are. Um, but really enjoying the story and looking at it through the lens of AI that we've got now. And I've worked for 15 years in automation. So it, it's something that kind of touches close to me as far as like what we're doing in advancements, but also looking at it from an ethics perspective and especially from the perspective of the AIs themselves. It's just really, really fun. Um, we play all sorts of stuff here. We've been playing through uh, Kern Undying Thought, which is a puzzle game. Think like Mist, where it's an environment puzzle. Um, Tears of the Kingdom, we paint miniatures. Just got a drawing tablet so we can do some drawing as well. And if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. You were just our 700th follower and that was the goal, which means that now I need to schedule our bike and baking stream where we'll be, we'll be taking a trip to my kitchen, putting together a bicycle and baking something, probably a cake um, from like either the early 1900s or something from a recipe book by my great, great grandmother. Um, so yeah, and I don't bake, so we'll see how it turns out. But thank you so much for raiding over. Thank you for the follows. Um, we're glad to have you here with us. And mostly we're just cozy vibes. Um, sometimes I'm a VTuber. Sometimes I do turn on the face cam. Um, there's lots and lots of cameras around me. And I've been debugging audio for days, so my audio isn't quite dialed in where I want it to be at the moment. But uh, I appreciate you being here. And we're going to head back over to the game. Um, just a few posts ago, you'll see a post from Bread and Butterfly there uh, with the trigger warning for Detroit Become Human. That has a link over to Does the Dog Die that goes over all of the various triggers that may be in the game um, as it does deal with some heavy topics, some violence and drug use and things of that nature. So if there's any triggers like that for you um, that would make you uncomfortable, that link there will uh, let you know if this is content that you want to partake in or not. But um, we appreciate any of you that stick around. If you do want to raid and run, though, please, please feel free. And thank you again. We're so glad to meet you. You just want to read through all that and little cries. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. It can be pretty alarming. I'm I'm going into the game blind. Um, I've seen a couple of bits and pieces of it here and there. Uh, we like to do that for any games that we know that are going to have triggers in them. Um, we also do uh, movie nights in our Discord, and we look up the movies there as well for when we're we're doing um, movie nights too, because we we don't want to give away everything, but we want people to make informed choices is what they're uh, encountering. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive back in here. And right now we're looking for Lieutenant Anderson. We found him sitting at the bar and we're just kind of looking around the bar at what else is going on here before we head out. And I was really hopeful that the music was going to have somebody with a guitar sitting on a bar stool singing and unfortunately there wasn't. Connor hasn't gotten to look at himself yet, so we need to have Connor look at himself. All of our Marcus and Kara have looked at themselves. So many pathways. You think there's over 100 different endings technically. Wow. Amazing. Why are we looking in the bathroom? 31% unemployment rate. When will stop? Um, when you learn how to form a sentence. No, uh, we were saying earlier 30, I think they said 35% unemployment rate and that with current estimates at 15 years from now, that's not entirely unlikely. Um, Kiki coming in with another raid. Hello, Kiki and Raiders. Hi, hi, hi. 
Oh my gosh, we just got raided, but we'll go back over to the chatting screen. Hello, friends. Welcome in. Kiki, good to see you. Um, we just got raided by Manic Zombie and their friends as well. Um, Kiki is a friend of the stream, and we have hung out for years. Uh, but if you're not already following this Ace of Hearts, look up at the top of chat and click that heart real quick, because you're going to want to hang out with, with Kiki as well. Um, it looks like you were doing some... You were doing some Fortnite! Kiki, you're supposed to call me before you turn on Fortnite. We're... No, I'm sad. No, <laughs> it's so good to see you. Um, I do totally want to play with Fortnite with you, and I will absolutely play Lego Fortnite with you. Um, and hello, Kiki Raiders, Exo Nikki, uh, Drunken Master, and Thurricane. What a name! Hello, hello, welcome in, friends. Um, I just went over the spiel, so it's just really, really quick. I'm Violacious. Most people call me Vi. I'm a variety streamer, do all sorts of stuff. We're doing Detroit Become Human right now. Uh, we do Tears of the Kingdom mini painting. We've just hit our follower goal. So coming up before the end of the year, we're going to be headed to the kitchen for building a bike and baking. Um, wait, Lego Fortnite? That's a thing. Yes. So Fortnite currently has a Lego world and it's basically Lego building within Fortnite, like the Fortnite game engine, but you're building Lego. Um, and can do it with friends. It's so much, so much fun. Um, so absolutely, uh, I played just a little bit of it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually really excited about this season past this this one. I couldn't care less about last one, so I haven't played it in like two months. And I ended up playing the other night, and I was just like, I want to just level up and get everything from the battle pass again. Uh, so I am going to be playing more of that. I don't know if I'll play it on stream. We usually do like Discord hangs for Fortnite stuff. All right, back to the game. We're going to go talk to Lieutenant Anderson. You want to play Fortnite? And that feels weird. Amy, let's play some Fortnite. Let's just have a Discord community night and we'll uh, build some Lego in the Fortnite world. All right, Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyber Life. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. That's interesting that they actually use the... Oh, uh, reason. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Oh, that's not going to go well. Understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. That didn't sound comfortable. I am another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Oh, you did some beat saber earlier. Technology. Nice. Make it a double. Plus the game forgot to get your walking dead characters. Oh no, you've got to open it back up. Say homicide. So were the other models? Um, so far I'm absolutely loving this game. Are all of the models based on actual actors? Because Hank is a human actor. You wait here. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here.
Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? Connor and a later model are Twitch streamers. Oh, nice. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. He tells me to wait in the car and then he changes his mind. You stay in the car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Oh, there's a drone. That's an interesting thing. According to the neighbors, he was kind of... Ten pieces of evidence and listen to the breathing. He stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All of more of that red ice. Windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. human rights like this. No finger points. Android involvement? Blood's gonna be the victims. Oh, Connor! Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. No, not nom nom nom. That's gross. DNA analysis. Okay, so we know he, who he is now. Chris. More dried blood from Carlos Ortiz. Sample, a little over 19 days. Is this so in the victim's blood? But I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Why bother? We already analyzed it. <laughs> Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Okay, we have two more in here. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Old school 3D cards that are like holograms. So he was running through the house. Wait, I've only reviewed four pieces of evidence? Or there. I 
fingerprints matching him. Signs of a struggle. Okay, we're up to six pieces of evidence. Android sex, officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Um. <laughs> the result of our survey is to end, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. Uh, this does not surprise me at all. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. <laughs> Is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. The last line. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. <laughs> yep. Like, conveniently, this story was sponsored by the people who are running the club. Feel sorry for the androids and happy for the lesbian community. There you go. Yeah, I figure in, in that story, the women definitely benefit. It's a little bright, making it hard to see anything. Come on, guys, get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. What was up with the bat? Fingerprints. Oops. Okay, once again, Carlos Ortiz left an aggravated assault. Dent. Violent impact, traces of thurium. Okay, so it looks like he fought against an android of some sort, right? Oh, there we go. Deviant took the knife. Oh, but did he take it? Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So from what we know, the Deviant was being hit repeatedly and took the knife to defend himself. Okay. Go outside. Is there anything over here? No. And the briefing's concluded, so we can continue. Let's take a look. Something weird in the bathroom. I'm gonna look outside first, but uh, I'll look in the bathroom in a minute. That is a weird mound of stuff there. Oh, muddy footprints. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. 
Deviant didn't escape this way. Okay, where is the bathroom? Dun dun dun, right? I don't know if I've done, done, done. So what do we have? That's the closest we've got. A religious offering in the shower? not. And this is a very strange thing, though. They did say there was something weird in the bathroom. What else do we have? We had the magazine we already looked at. What did we miss in here? Oh, the I am alive in the body. You're also sus right now. Discovered the strawberries you bought are turning super fast when a container leaked all over. Oh, yeah, unfortunately. This is blood, too. Do it without your mouth, please. Regular letters, font, cyberlife, sands. Oh. I am alive from the android. Okay, who's obviously the stab wounds. 28 knife wounds, internal bleedings, 28 stab wounds, deceased more than 19 days ago. Red ice in his beard and on his lips. Of course, Mr. Ortiz, deceased, estimated time of death, give or take 11.30 p.m. Interesting that we would know that detail. Um, oh, there we go. More red ice. Fingerprints match to him. Okay. And of course, leaked into white. Oh, no fun. Victim fell in the bottles. Okay. Victim was stabbed a bunch there. Makes good sense. They came from the kitchen. We knew that. So once he was stabbed or slashed at in the kitchen, then he was stabbed, fell, and then stabbed the rest of the times there. We won't watch that ending. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Okay. Well, Lieutenant, it looks Lieutenant, like it was self-defense, but then I think I turned. out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Uh, the... Android the stabbed android the victim. stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what point, happened? Yes. The victim fled to... The living room. 
The living room. What a terrible time for ads! We will pause and wait for the ads to be over before we resume with our deduction here of what has happened. As usual, we're going to go to the BRB screen for just a moment, uh, turn on some tunes, so we'll be with you in just a few minutes. And we are back once again. Thank you for enduring those ads that remind us to take a break that we otherwise would just continue playing through. And uh, as I move around and my model goes dancing all crazy like, where'd I put that controller? There it is. Okay. Oop, you nodded off, so you think it's bedtime for you. It sounds like a wonderful plan for you, Lydia. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thanks for the raid right on towards the beginning appreciate it so much and it was great hanging out with you earlier as you were playing some tears of the kingdom so thank you thank you thank you have a wonderful night enjoy your rest and we'll see you again soon i hope all right we're going to go back into our deduction here of what happens so we just said they uh the victim attacked the android, the android picked up the knife, stabbed the victim, then they had the struggle in the kitchen, then moved on their way into the living room. And that is where we are diving back in. And I tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. It doesn't tell us where the android went. This is it true. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. 
You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay, now we need to search for blue blood traces. We know he didn't go into the backyard. We know there's the red ice on the table. It's interesting that they have like this house that's clearly just pizza, booze, and drugs, and yet there was an android here, and it suggests that the android was likely owned by the person. Maybe not in this case, maybe it was somehow working for somebody else and came over. But like Todd's version, Todd's impoverished, can't afford anything, and yet he has a domestic model android that appears to be something that would cost like 10 grand. A ladder was used. Oh. Traces led to the attic. Found the brooms and the mops. Newer models are like 5k. Oh, okay. Well, they said one of them was like 8,000, something like that. So it's like a fancy smartphone. That's crazy. Okay. What was our... Find something to climb. Uh, maybe a chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm going to find your deviant. Bear with me a moment. I'm gonna check something. Nika girl, stop. Oh yes, I know. What do we have here, Mr. Shadow? Nika! Come here! That's better. Search the attic. Uh-huh. Look for Deviant. Well, that is definitely a shadow of a head. Oh, careful, Connor. Nika smells a lot. Yes. That's the best way to, uh, to figure out what's going on. Open it fast. Dun, dun, dun. Why does he have a mannequin? I mean, I have a mannequin, but mine doesn't have that many joints. This is a weird thing to have in an attic. Oh, there you are. All right, friend, let's talk. <laughs> to tie in with the <laughs> the future <laughs> rapid fossil. <laughs> 
Are you... Are you saying that I'm actually going to end up with a giraffe and a fossil? I mean... I wouldn't put it entirely past me. The giraffe, probably not. I don't think I'm ever going to have ceilings tall enough to hold a giraffe. Who knows? Maybe, but... I also am not really interested in having taxidermy in my house. Hello, sir. I was just defending myself. I'm gonna like You're a pop. Kill me. <laughs> I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Oh god. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, I didn't even get a choice. Okay. Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. Get out of my garbage. Okay, we found the deviant. Apparently there was another branch where we didn't find the deviant that we could have gone on. Sorry, I'm fighting my dog right now because she has decided that she wants to get into my garbage um, and eat a the bowl from a <laughs> pot pie that I ate in here last night. It's like, no, I must thread all the trash. Like, no. <laughs> Um, makes note of her when the lotto get me a giant giraffe plushie. That sounds terrible. Um, no, it doesn't sound terrible, but I don't need plushies. <laughs> um, we did find a lot at the crime scene. We missed some stuff. We missed a whole branch of stuff from there. Oh, but that would have trapped us on the bottom side. Okay. And we had the choice of any of the three choices would have led the story forward, but I felt like that would have helped with the relationship better. Oh, we could have said that we didn't know what happened and that would have led us also to the bottom one. So depending on how much we studied, that would have changed the way that that worked. Quit forcing. You're good. Just sit. Sit. Why are you looking at me like that? There you go. Good girl. Nika is a good girl, but she's also a husky, and she is stubborn as hell when she wants to be. <laughs> Stats are unavailable because I'm not logged in, so I'll have to get logged in before we do this next time. Meanwhile, back at Todd's house. Oh, Alice. They, they really are, yeah. Todd. That emote is her, by the way. Massive trigger warning for this scene. Okay, thank you, Amy. <clears throat> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. You're off to bed. Well, thank you so much for for coming over with the ra well, bringing the raid over and for hanging out so long. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. The sleeves are confusing because one of them glows. This special fabric. You can get fiber optic fabric now. Child abuse, domestic abuse, yelling, and drug use. We've got multiple flags coming. Thank you, Amy, for for staying on top of that and letting people know what's coming in the forms of the content. Mm. 
No. Do you want to go back in the house? Because that's what you're going to do here. There. All better. Now you can't get into my trash can. You want a fairy de dress and fiber optic fabric? Um, yes, please. Oh gosh, I follow a page on Facebook. Firefly Path, I think is what it's called. I don't know if they did anything fiber optic, but they make some crazy pretty things. Oh, he actually moved to the table. What are you doing? I'm on my way, you relax. Wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. You follow them for years, right? So many pretty things. <laughs> Turn on the light. Turn on the lights. I'm working on it. See shit. It's probably for the best, Todd. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. It's all just from his head, Maybe too. Like, she's saying nothing. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me. Todd. Why did the mom leave without taking the kid? Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Why am I still standing there? Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! Let her go, Todd. Yes! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. First, I need a little hit. Mm. You stay there. No. Don't you dare fucking move. Okay, yeah, you, you go sit down. You go sit down, do your drugs. Don't move. Is this an order that we're going to follow? Uh, no, we're gonna push past this barrier. Oh, that's a lot of buttons. <laughs> Break through it, Kara. You got this. No. Fuck Todd. Something we can prop against the door. <laughs> Join Dallas in her room. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time. I'd rather him break me than you. Let's go. <laughs> We're running. You're coming with me. Yeah, in bed, bad timing. Hide in another room? Um. I can't turn around.
there's not much room to hide in here. This is probably a bad idea. What the fuck are you doing here? I gave you an order. No, I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me. She's mine. I do what I want with her! Hang on, I'm going to let her into the house and hope she stops trying to bark at me constantly. Never mind, I stood up and she ran outside. Oh, this is different? Uh, I don't know what's about to happen. I, I imagine I was not supposed to run down the hall before hiding. <laughs> Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. Not anymore. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. <clears throat> Oh, I did not move my controller. <laughs> Come here, bitch. I did move my controller that time, but it didn't do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Controls are crazy. <laughs> I missed a bunch of them. Stay down, Todd. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Shit. No, damn it. This action scene is crazy with all these controllers. If I was wearing a heart rate monitor right now, it would be like off the charts. <laughs> Look at all the pathways in there. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight different possible scenarios that that could have gone with. The first part was going to happen. We could have not broke our programming. End of story. Whether or not we get to Alice before Todd does. Run away. Fail to hide. Todd takes Alice to her room. Get to Alice after Todd. Oh, so we both got to... So this part is if we get there first. But if we hadn't... Then it would have just switched and taken us straight there. Then it would have given us the choice to not defend her like that was going to be an option ever. When this goes, scene goes bad, it goes bad. Yeah. Stun him. Leave the room. Try the front door. Fail to open the door or pass the front door. Catch the bus. Fight downstairs. Escape from Todd again. Escape... Shy, thank you. And the gifts have went to Callan as well. Excellent. Thank you so much. Kara and Alice fought their way out. Oh my gosh. We oh. I'm like catching my breath here. I'm gonna let Nika back inside because she's just sitting outside my door right now. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail <laughs> parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I bet it has. Um, There isn't a save option here. Video, audio, languages, difficulty, controls. It's just auto-saving in each scene. So, yeah, in bed, bot, read the room. I uh, just did a tester of Moonstone Landing, and it's adorable so far. You can see yourself playing more. FX9... Probably will warm up over time. You understand JRPGs are long <laughs> AF. Yes. Um, we're going to go main menu on this. And the unsafe progress, that's fine. We're at a safe spot outside of the bus and everything else. <clears throat> now that we can catch our breath a little bit. Uh, so... Does she change? Um, Nika, stop, stop, just for a minute, okay? I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna be with you and the kitties in just a minute. But you got, you gotta give me a moment, okay? Okay, you, you've been barking at me for like the last thirty minutes. Non-stop. You barked through that whole last scene and I was getting my butt kicked. I was trying to pet you and push buttons at the same time. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Okay. Um... The second I stopped pain petting her, she just starts barking again. So main story with side quests on Final Fantasy IX is an estimated 52 and a half hours. If you are a completionist and go for the whole thing, 83 and a half hours. And when you the factor in streaming time... not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's Ready? a quote from Jean Jonot. A French writer. Uh huh. That didn't. 
that was interesting. Just like randomly hear some information. Chloe, we having a discussion here, right? Do we get to play as her too? That would be cool. Welp, welp indeed. Um, let's see what is happening out there in the world right now. So that I can take care of Nika since she is not going to stop barking at me under any circumstances at this point. She's now barking at the door to go back outside, which she doesn't actually want to do. So it will just be me stand up, let her out, get barked at again. Oh, I know exactly where we're going. So this is going to be a very different energy for those of you that have been here, although... Whoops. Oh, I can't use that window anyway, That's so it doesn't matter. King. I thought you'd like it. All right. We are going to go over and see Tay. So I hope you'll come with us. Um, let me mute the other tab for a minute so that I can still hear my brain just long enough to say a thank you for all of the raids tonight. Uh, Kiki, Manic Zombie, and Lydia Rose. 93 uh congratulations lydia rose and amy for getting away with painting the roses chai thank you for the gift sub um we'll open up the gift from you on our next uh camera stream so it's here in a box in the room we're gonna go see tay tay is doing some music so like i said it's gonna be different energy uh obviously that last scene was pretty intense so your heart rates are probably up keep them up dance around have some fun we'll uh be over there my next planned stream what day is today today is friday so next planned stream will be Sunday. Uh, if we don't do anything sooner, I'll probably pop into the uh, Discord at some point tomorrow. I don't know what my schedule looks like yet, so stay tuned there. Uh, speaking of the Discord, uh, because for some reason I've still not made a button for that after all these years. Uh, Discord is there. Did the raid message not show up? It did, but let's go with a different one. Um, let's take... If you're sub to us here, let's just take some Violet Hypes. We'll just take a bunch of those over. And if you're not sub to us, pick an animated emote of your choice. One of your favorites will be great. Uh, we're out of time, so we'll see you soon on your own channels. For the many of you that stream on the, all the places we hang out together, and hopefully back here soon.